So we've now got all our three little holes just on here now. Uh, just quickly testing it, our rod does go through um, all the holes. Our um, little nail here goes through the center one as well. Just to let you know, I've got the digital cal caliper on there and it's about a seven mil drill bit you want, maybe go up to an eight, eight uh, zero point, sorry, 0 0.7 mil drill bit is what you want. Maybe go up to a 0 0.8 mil drill bit again it does take a little bit of time but you know you do eventually get there in the end now what you might want to do is because we've sort of hammered in these sort of pilot holes so we know where to drill yeah it does kind of maybe sort of distort the metal a little bit so placing it on a nice metal ruler just here just so as we give it a nice hard surface getting our hammer and just try and bang that back into place i've already had a good bang of it um, off camera and that's all looking sort of nice and flat and straight which is what you want now the next bit is to actually put bends in this so um, we're sort of kind of going into the area of like photo etch bending tools I'm going to actually show you two the first one is probably like the cheapest and so kind of like almost like the easiest tool to use we do have these cool bending pliers these are by Tamiya they are around about 20 pounds each a little bit expensive but they are good and sort of like a lifetime sort of tool so um, with these things what's cool is what we can do is if we find right where we made our little score our little straight line I don't know if you can see the little score on there you should be able to just see it if I rotate it push our bit of photo, our photo etch pliers right right up to that line bang on make sure it's nice and square you know sort of like those nice 90 degree angles and then what we can do hopefully hopefully this metal's not too thick should be able to just push this like so nice and slowly you know don't go for it too quickly and we want to get a nice you know 90 degree angle on that all right, just make sure it looks 90 degree. Yeah, there we go. And there is our first bend. Actually, I could have probably bent that a little bit more for a 90 degree angle. Right. The next kind of tool you could use if sort of like, I know you're really sort of into the modeling, you're sort of going a bit advanced and you don't mind spending a bit more on your tools. We do have some photo etch bending tools over here. Um, nice little photo etch bending tool here, kind of expensive, um, you can be paying depending on which one you buy, which brand, I mean £60-ish, 40 80 I mean it can be, uh, it does kind of vary. This one here, if you just want to have a look, made in the USA from the smallshop.com, if you want to go check them out, but there is loads out there. Uh, the cool thing with these is, you know, we can sort of, you know, find ourselves a place where we want to do our bend maybe bring you in a bit closer find a place we want to do a bend you know maybe this little tuft just here will do it and again as we've been doing right i mean you might want to get tweezers out right so we can sort of line this up right line our mark just like we did with the um the bending pliers Right, and we turn these to sort of lock it in. I like to sort of get it close to almost being locked in and then I, I just kind of micro position it. Make sure it's in the position I want. And get, make sure you get it nice and straight and those nice right angles. All right, we don't want any, any sort of wonky bends. So with that nicely in position, as you can see, and I've locked it down, right, we want to do the bend. And for doing the bend, they do give these nice big kind of blades, really, that comes with the kit. And what we do, yeah, is we get this, right, and we basically get it underneath a bit of photo etch, push it in, a little bit of force. Um, you know, this is quite a bit of, a bit of thick kind of metal. I mean, normally it's a bit easier than this when um, dealing with photo etch, but this one is a bit thick. But you know, we can get in and then we just push that. Oh, slipped. Just push that until again we get that to a 90 degree angle. And that looks about right. So we should be able to get this off 
and we've just nicely bended that like so if we just sort of focus you can sort of see how that's nicely bended just like so um, actually I mean now I've bent it I'm kind of looking at it and it almost looks like um, maybe we've got a little bit of excess there I don't know if you can sort of see one side looks a little bit higher so maybe we just kind of cut it off come in cut it off you know get it sort of right um, I'll do that later off camera but the whole idea is excuse the compressor is that we'll be able to put our rod in there like so and we should be able to get our our nail just here that should go in there like there like that which then goes on here and we just press this down just a little bit like so so that's going to nicely go in there which is going to allow us to turn it we then do have our carronade just here and the whole idea is we thread this through so if we just get this and I could just show you how it's all going to work fingers crossed right, so we thread that through one side then through the carronade so after trying to thread that through as you can see it was a little bit tricky basically the carronade um, you know the fit is just a little bit too tight as we've already established that a, a 1.2 mil drill bit works fine for our little bit of photo etch bit we've done there uh, but we need a 1.2 mil drill bit going through the carronade it was just a bit too tight so again I just drilled that 1.2 mil drill bit and then we should be able to just thread this through it's a little bit sort of tricky to be able to hold and do this all right but we should be threading nicely all the way through like so um, then we've got to do a little bit of trimming up but hopefully as you can see now we've got this really cool thing going on where our carronade can sort of turn and swivel and go up and down Right, um, as a little bit of a note, I did go off while I was just off camera. Um, I did sort of trim this up so they are sort of now sort of level. I did go off and get a flat sanding stick or or even a file would probably be better, better, a nice sort of file. And what I did is just sort of, you know, just sanded these two up so it kind of comes all nice and level and it neats off any cutting that we've been doing just to, to, to make that look nice and good. And then we just need to move along.